Hey, after the break, get ready to go back in time. Back in time? I picked 1975, my senior prom. Only this time, I'll have a date. Hi, I'm standing in front of the Dino Institute here at Dino Land, USA, home to the friendliest fossils in America. Only friendly because they're dead. Now, scientists have argued for years about exactly what drove these giants to extinction. We think it was because they were too handsome and rich. Poor Brad Pitt. But now, the Dino Institute has figured out a way to take you back in time to answer this riddle for yourself. How did they do that? I figured if I wanted the real scoop on time travel, I'd better go see those Imagineers. Now, they wouldn't tell me either, but they did show me how they brought the dinosaurs back to life. Like all good actors, they need direction. In this case, the audio animatronics programmer who orchestrates each and every lifelike movement for their performance. In the end, it all comes together to create a thrilling race against time. It's fast, it's a blast, and it's in the past. It's Countdown to Extinction. I heard a theory that the mass of extinction was caused by a huge asteroid hitting the Earth. The debris that was dislodged blocked out the sun over a period of years. Most vegetation would have died. So do you want to see it? See what? Right this way, ladies and gents. Straight ahead. Hey, man. Hey, how you doing, Cat? Okay, yeah, right up here in the front way. car. Oh, yeah, and uh, don't forget to put on your safety belts. Oh, and make sure they're nice and snug. Now, the asteroid won't actually hit the vehicle, but there may be a bit of an impact. Hey, aren't you guys coming with us? No, no, we've got to try and get you back. Enjoy the meteor shower. Hey, who are you guys? 